know what the fuck going on. How the fuck did you trust this nigga that much? You should have been getting your shit together, getting your shit together. Like, what the fuck? Like, you can't, I know you didn't just believe this nigga handshake. You allowed this nigga to be a, a, a honorary blood. This nigga wanted to be something that he wasn't. How the fuck do you trust him? He's obviously fake. Seiko, fearless leader of AO Nation, and this is Are You Serious? As in, how the fuck is Billy Otto surprised that Takashi kicked him to the fucking curb? That Takashi did some fuck shit? Is Takashi 69 does he come off as a real person? Does he seem like trustworthy? Someone that you could actually trust? What the fuck? We're going to get into that in a second. First off, salute AO Nation, Scotland, Germany, and London. I have to give y'all a special shout out because it's crazy that y'all are watching a nigga from Alabama and I still can't wrap my head around that shit. All the rest of AO Nation, whether you're at work, at school, or you in the street right now, whatever like that, I really appreciate y'all. Y'all make sure I hit that PayPal, show love because I do this for y'all. As long as y'all learning and being entertained, I feel good about the shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's rock out with that PayPal and really move AO Nation forward. You know what I'm saying? Rock out. I want to talk about this Billy Otto and Takashi 69 shit because it's important because you may be going through something just like this because... You know that the nigga that you fucking with or the bitch that you fucking with or the co-worker that you're, you're, you're purposely suppressing signs that the person next to you is showing you that they should not be next to you for whatever reason. Maybe it's for monetary gain. Maybe because you're trying to get a promotion. Maybe because they got the dope or whatever the fuck it is. But what you have to remember is that fuck nigga or that nothing ass bitch is going to be that. Don't forget the signs that they showed you in the beginning. Don't forget how y'all met. You know what I'm saying? Like, Billy Otto met Takashi 69 on the fuck shit. Like, he met him when he wanted to be a blood. And he needed a real blood in order to authenticate this whole move. But, like, because before he met Billy Otto, he was in blue rags and shit like that. So, in order for motherfuckers to believe that you really are blood, you need a notorious blood gang member. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who, like, has respect and shit like that. Bill Otto just coming home, a known blood and shit like that. They can rock it. So, it came like that. But, as we see now, Bill Otto was shot to the curb. It's over with for him. Because the Mexican Takashi 69 is running with the light skin of Shotty and the light skin Al Sean Martin. The reason why I bring up skin complexion because as you look on this side, you look on this side, light skin niggas. They have their own code that they're going by while the dark skin nigga, they have nothing for him other than for him to protect them. Billy Otto's job was to go to LA when it was rough, when it was wartime and stand in front and say, let's do it. He protected him the whole fucking time. The whole time you got Billy Otto, he's frontlining everything, whatever like that. And it's crazy because the reason why Billy Otto is thrown to the dogs is because he wanted to start putting out his own music. Now, whether or not the shit was garbage or not, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. What Billy Otto is upset about is that they chose Al Sean Martin music to actually start promoting when it's like, hold on, y'all. The only reason you sign this nigga is because we wanted to show the California niggas that this ain't no gang shit. Like, we ain't going against the Crips. We just don't like Jabba, Jabba Lope them. You know what I'm saying? That's why you signed the Crip nigga, Al Sean Martin. Like, hold on. Y'all getting too deep into this skit. We just running this shit. Like, what the fuck is y'all niggas doing? You know what I'm saying? But they on some shit like shit. They, they, they might fuck with this nigga, whatever like that. But he like, hold up. Hold on. Like, 
I'm over here, like I told y'all, I want to do this music shit. Why, like, why the fuck y'all ain't trying to help me and push me out there? I should be the next one up because I started this shit with y'all. I should be next up. There's no way you're going to bring some new nigga, some new soft nigga. Because this Al Sean Moore nigga is not really a street nigga for real. Like, he's wearing them orange bandanas and shit like that, but he's not really a street nigga. And it's been proven and documented. How in the fuck is y'all fuck with this nigga over me and shit? And all this whooping that Billy Otto was doing, he's... Not understanding, like, hold up, like, I really was front-lining for you, my nigga, but Billy Otto was forgetting that you were front-lining for a fuck nigga. Are you forgetting why you had to front-line? You were front-lining because them niggas couldn't stand up for themselves. You're front-lining because if you weren't there, they wouldn't have went. The only reason they went is because they knew they could throw you out front and you a goddamn shake with niggas, whatever like that, and make niggas feel their pain. You were infantry. You were first line. That's what it was. And you knew that. Now, when it comes down to you being rewarded, you're wondering what the fuck happened. You didn't get your return. But you knew that he was a fuck nigga. So, like, what do you want? You signed a deal with a devil, and you forgot who the fuck you signed with, big home. This is what happens in life with a lot of us. You knew who this motherfucker was, but you suppressed that. And now you surprised that they are exactly who they showed you they were. Who you knew they were, you just knew it. That they weren't going to do that. You knew that, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you ain't going to be no fuck, nigga. Nah, you ain't going to do no shiesty shit. I know you known for doing shiesty shit, but you ain't going to do it. It's like, see, the reason why I fuck with niggas like Cook Up Johnson, like, if y'all know who the fuck it is, it's a rap nigga, you know what I'm saying? He from South Carolina and shit like that. But the reason I fuck with him because, like, this is a nigga where I've seen him in these situations with like big rappers and shit like that. And he bring them to Carolina and it's all love. He get niggas hoes, you know what I'm saying? He makes sure niggas straight in the city, everything free in the city, make sure niggas get in and get out all good, whatever like that. But then when motherfuckers leave from the city, niggas won't even pick the phone up. Like, it's all love while you right here. We all, brother, oh, big brother, oh, man, love. We're going to go straight to the top. But then when them niggas get back to L.A. or Atlanta and shit like that, I ain't seen niggas do this shit. Like, they get back to where they going, they ain't picking up the phone. See, rappers give real niggas that rap a bad name. Understand what I'm trying to tell you. Rappers give real niggas that rap a bad name because... It's hard to decipher whether a nigga is a real nigga that raps or he's a rapper, like a, a fuck nigga, whatever like that. Because from a rapper, you can't expect him to do real shit. You can expect for him to use you and get the fuck out the way, whatever like that. This is how extortion all this shit happens. See, I learned from Cook Up Johnson because it's like to see how he handled those situations, which we can't speak about, but out of anger, you will act on some shit, but it's a way that you should do it, whatever like that. Y'all gotta look at how this nigga did some shit. Go to Cook Up Johnson on YouTube, whatever like that, and just, just see what pulls up like when you put that nigga shit up, whatever like that. That nigga did some crazy shit, whatever like that. But it really show you how this rap shit go. Like, you cannot expect for a person who shows you that they're one thing to be something else. You know this. So, sweetheart, when you know that this nigga is a cheater, you know he a cheater, you know he not faithful, he don't look like he faithful, uh, when you with him, whatever like that, his phone ring, he look at other hoes on the slide, whatever like that, you, you, like you read all this shit, you got intuition, you reading it, but you suppressing that shit. You keep suppressing it to where now when you actually find out he cheating on you, you surprised. But... If you would have actually did what the fuck you were supposed to do beforehand, like, so, you see the signs of a motherfucker being this. Act on them being it right then. So, if in your mind, like, all right, this nigga phone ringing, whatever, like that, you know what I'm saying? I think this is a nigga a cheater. Handle that shit right then and there. Cut this shit off because you should be feeling like, if I have to, like, if I can read this shit just like this, Fuck whatever, you know what I'm saying, come with this shit. If you actually want some out this shit, leave that shit where it's at. Stop trying to build something that ain't there. Niggas, the same thing with y'all. Like, stop thinking that you're going to go in the streets 
and make a plan. Like you're not gonna go in the streets. I'm gonna stay here, goddamn, about a month, goddamn. I'll be straight. I have all my probation paid off. I have me a whip. My life is paid for. It. No, dog. The streets don't work like that. Hold on. Oh, I know who the fuck that is. It don't work like that. You cannot tame the streets and you know that going into it. Sweetheart, you know you cannot tame no nigga. If a nigga has a cheating spirit in him, you can't change him. Go find another nigga. Find another nigga. You can't raise no nigga. It is what it is. If it's in him, it's in him. Now, I can run it down to you like every nigga cheat, whatever like that. You're not going to find no faithful nigga. But that's not true. It really ain't. I believed that at one point, but it's not true. The nigga that's for you ain't gonna do you like that. Stop making excuses for you to be mistreated. We do that so much. We lie to ourselves. We lie to ourselves so much that when the fuck shit happened that we knew was gonna happen, we fucking surprised. Now we acting crazy. Now anything might happen. Now a bad situation gets compounded. Simply because we didn't want to listen to what the voice said that we've been walking with our whole life. Stop trying to um, appease the world. Your happiness, your happiness, your life, your future. This is your shit. You may have to sacrifice a little bit. And I don't know why y'all don't understand this. You may have to sacrifice a little bit. You may have to go through pain. You may have to stay at work a little bit longer. You may have to go to sleep alone a couple nights. There's nothing that's going to be worth having that's not going to be a little bit rough to get to because everybody's not going to get it. Like, it's, this is a narrow path you're going down. You're trying to have real happiness. Some shit that a lot of people don't get. It's not going to be easy to get. But what I'm saying is don't waste your time on some shit that you know ain't going to work. Because you're going to start building a house on this bullshit ass foundation. You might get all the way up to the roof and the house be good for about two years. But then that shit fall the fuck down and everything that the fuck you had in the house, now that's gone. Now you have to start all the way back over to where you was at zero. Now you at negative 100. Now you got to dig out of a hole. Instead of start from, you know what I'm saying, ground zero. We got to stop trying to make something out of nothing. We got to stop trying to make something that, out of something that's not there. So, Billy Otto, the reason why I'm surprised that you, my nigga, is because you a real street nigga. You a real street nigga, my nigga. Why the fuck is you getting dead like a fucking bitch? How is you getting dead like a bitch? Like, you know what the fuck going on. How the fuck did you trust this nigga that much? You should have been getting your shit together, getting your shit together. Like, what the fuck? Like, you can't, I know you didn't just believe this nigga handshake. You allowed this nigga to be a, a, a honorary blood. This nigga wanted to be something that he wasn't. How the fuck do you trust him? He's obviously fake. The fuck is wrong with you, nigga? Stop doing this shit, dog. Like, you fucking up the game. You letting these fuck niggas ride. And niggas was telling you that from the jump. Why the fuck is you standing behind this shit? Now you on the other side, like, oh, man. And Shotty, you next. You next, nigga. Because he's going to get too big for you, too. Believe it. The same way they told, like, who I, you may have got in 6 9 and said, goddamn, that nigga's going to say he in the way. But best believe, somebody going to get 6 9 and say that Shotty in the way. And you going to feel it. Soon as that fucking, I, I mean, I know you got some fucked up paperwork and shit like that, but a nigga buy him out that shit. Real talk. Believe what's going on. You be stuck with Al Sean Martin. No, that nigga ain't gonna do nothing. Niggas don't even fuck with him. That's another story though. Y'all be like, be mindful of what's going on around y'all, dog. Stop. We gotta stop trying to build shit out of nothing, man. Come on, dog. Big face podcast. I am Ao Conseco. Y'all make sure y'all go there. PayPal. Show love. I'ma see y'all in a minute. Are you serious?